financial behavioral workers like Glenn Goodman are giving up time with family to give power instead. Somebody's grandma must be out of power there, so they're going to get them back on. These men's stories are similar, leaving behind wives and kids. Uh, mine are a little older, he's a teenager, so I think they'll handle a little, a little better. Uh, I just have a girlfriend and family, and I'll leave behind a uh, wife and just been married for about five, six months now. Sean DeRoche was on the fence about missing their first Christmas, but... Uh, she told me to go. The plea came from Mayor Rob Ford. We're bringing in 100 trucks from Manitoba, Windsor, uh, Mississauga, Ottawa, and Michigan. And this is what they're up against. An all-Canadian ice storm coated the city and cut power. Today, 90,000 homes in Toronto are still without. The desperation for heat has some using gas appliances, and that's led to two deaths from carbon monoxide poisoning. With wires hanging and poles broken across the grid, it will be a tricky job, even hazardous. Going to uh, wind into territory we're not familiar with. Uh, usually we have all our trucks and our gear and everything ready here. We're going there without our trucks. But for these 42 men, it was a no-brainer. Jeff Adams. Marvin Roos has faced numerous ice storms in his 38 years with Hydro and says the new guys are in for a treat. It's a great feeling. I've had that feeling many times to uh, see your people, the power come back on, and they just wave and they're pretty happy. These men know Hydro will be the best Christmas gift they can give. Now this is no small job. Manitoba Hydro crews will be out there for up to two weeks. And while we couldn't get everybody on tape tonight, these men want to wish a very Merry Christmas to their family and friends at home. Bill Cooper, City TV, Winnipeg. Well, Sarah, on Christmas, Chris.